How's everybody doing? You having a good night? Yeah! Put your hands together for Mr. John Roman! Woo! Make some noise! Word to the wise about Mr. John Roman, though, do not get a hotel with him. It brings new meaning to the word when in Rome. <laughs> so, also make sure your cell phones are in the off position. I really hate ringtones and things that vibrate. I hate things that vibrate so much that I recorded my cell phone vibrating and made that my ringtone. So far, I've had about 13,000 missed calls. My wife, she is a fitness instructor. And she says, you need to lose your stomach. Your boobs are bigger than mine. So she says, walk around with your core braced. Brace your core. Brace your core. I'll tell you to walk around. Brace your core. <laughs> it was doing pretty good until I crapped on myself. <clears throat> Turns out there's a big difference between bracing your core and straining a lot. So I, I think our society today is very concerned with the idea of being clean. We take so many showers. We get a shower in the morning, we go to the gym, we get a shower again. We go out, we take a shower. But how clean do we really get? I mean, think about your butthole. How clean does that place get? I think most people take a rag and they swipe a few times, maybe smell it, and then they roll on. They're good. You know, one time, I got a little overzealous with my butthole cleaning. I, I think I got soap in my pancreas. And then there was, you know, I started farting bubbles for weeks. But it, it was a really big hit down at the Ronald McDonald Center with all the kids. All these little bubbles, you know, and the kids would pop the bubbles and there was a treat inside. It was great. They loved it. So, you know, we're coming out of the holidays. Did you guys have a good holiday? Yeah. Yeah, y'all real festive. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! So, holidays are great. You get a time to spend with your family. You drink eggnog. Who the crap thought of eggnog? Why would you put eggs together in a cup with nutmeg and drink it? Hello, Spencer. You know... This party is really lame. I think we should get some eggs, smash them in a cup, and put some nutmeg on it and drink it. The party will be great. All right, Jeeves, I'll do that. No, but when they put rum in the eggs, ha ha, yes. Then they've got an idea. So we all know that Mayonnaise is made of eggs, right? So the next logical step is to take rum with mayonnaise. Now that's a sandwich. Get you some Miracle Whip and some Bacardi. Oh yeah, I'd eat that. That'd be great. I love music. Uh, there's definitely been some bands that I like that have some strange names. But but one of the bands I've never understood is Hall and Oates. What? Why did they name their band that? Why didn't they name their band like Kinky Hair and White Guy? I mean, if, if my name was Hall and my buddy's name was Oates, wouldn't we start a breakfast delivery company? Hall and Oates? No? If, 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 if my last name was Bricks, and my buddy's last name was Shitten. Wouldn't we sell porta potties <laughs> instead of starting a band? <laughs> Idiots! <laughs> so in, in high school, my, my buddies and I, we had a band, we had fun. Uh, we went to a little town called Roanoke in Virginia. And uh, yeah, yeah, Roanoke, Virginia. Yeah. There's like seven people there. And uh, we would dress in our leather jackets black pants, and our little cross necklaces, and our black Led Zeppelin shirts and black Sabbath. Oh yeah, it was for the devil. And one night, no lie, this is a true story, there was a guy, I'm pretty sure he was high, he goes, 
He saw all, all of us walking down the street. There was like seven of us. You, you guys are like a bunch of vampires. <sighs> no, no joke. And I've never been more proud of my life. That was such a great moment. You know, in, in one sentence, the guy told me that I was pale, I looked depressed, and I needed a blood transfusion. It was <laughs> such a great moment. And we were wearing glitter, and it was so pretty. Pretty glitter. So as you can imagine, I had a, I had a unique childhood. So some of the times that we'd go to Roanoke, we had some interesting experience. One night, got into a bar fight with a guy. The guy was ready to kick my ass. He was like six foot two. And I said, okay, excuse me. <laughs> Clearly, you don't know who you're messing with. Because <clears throat> kicking my ass is like kicking a Care Bear's ass. That's right. That's not something you want on your MMA resume. <clears throat> so, uh, Brutus, is that your name? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Your resume looks pretty good. Thanks for coming in. It says here you uh, train jujitsu with the Gracie brothers. That's good. good. What? Wait, wait. What? What's this? You kicked Lance Russell's ass. What the hell's wrong with you? You go around kicking baby seals' asses, do you? Get out. So yeah, kicking my ass is not much of an achievement. That was really a good lineup for the Mexican joke that I'm going to spare you from. In this case, my kidding ass. It's about Telemundo. So I really like to, uh, I like to fly. Flying is such an amazing experience. I mean, think about it. You're in a chair in the sky, and there's been lots of comedians who made jokes about that, but even better, you can go to the bathroom, and you can piss on the world. Because when you pee in the airport, the little plane porta potty they shoot it out the back of the plane. So there you are, you're a thousand miles in the sky, and you're just... Peeing on the world. That's awesome. And then they just spit it out the back of the plane. So, my wife and I were traveling one time with kids. One time was enough. We'll never do it again. And, you know, one of the kids starts crying. I'm like, oh, shut up. And I said, I looked over at her and I said, would you mind if I just took it to the porta potty and just washed it? Nobody will know. It just goes out to the sky. Of course, it wasn't our kids, so she said no. <laughs> One of the things I'd really like to do in an in a, uh, airport while I'm waiting on a plane is uh, I like to take the men's bathroom signs and swap them with the women's. So what you do, it's really fun. You wait for a bunch of women to go into the women's bathroom, and you swap the signs with the men's. And then you watch the men go into the women's bathroom and hear all the screams. Right? Super good pastime on a layover. One time, I uh, was going through TSA. And I had a layover, and they had to check my bags. I was going from DFW to JFK. And they arrested me because I had a bag full of men's signs from DFW that I was going to switch with the women's signs at JFK. They, they didn't really think that was very funny. I mean, you guys did. I appreciate that. So, lots of people in the world love to be on lists. They love to be on lists like, who's the richest people in the world? 100 top rich people. I'm on the list called the list of people not on any other list. And I'm number 7,235. I'm really proud of that. Soup is a weird word. I like to go into people's homes and find their spice rack. 
and I take their, 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 their little label for their paprika, and I swap it with their cinnamon. And then I make them bake me a pie, or a cappuccino. But I make them taste it first. And then I watch their reactions. It's great. Any of you guys have iPhones? Right here. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. So, so uh, do, do your iPhones, do they talk dirty to you? Does Siri, does she talk dirty to you? No? Not me either. I was just, I, I was just asking. I love you. Sometimes Siri and I, we get into uh, arguments. You know, she'll say things like, Lance, you're a, you need to get a real job. Lance, you suck. Shut up, Siri, I hate you. Get a real job. All right, last joke. So, you guys ever take a shower? And you get in the shower and you don't even notice, but there's a spider in the shower. Like, what the crap? Where did that shower? Where did that spider come from? You think, like, oh, I'm in a shower. I'll drown it. But then you think, oh, wait, no. What if the spider's like one of those little mogwai dudes from the gremlins? And if he, if he stays up past 12 o'clock or he eats uh, Jamaican chocolate cocaine or, or he, gets, he gets wet, then he'll turn into like magic little demon spider gremlins. And you get really scared. Does that, does that happen to you? No, no, okay. You know, my doctor says I'm, I'm insane. But that's just crazy. You know, one day he said, he said, Lance, I want you to take a test. And I want you to, uh, I want you to look at these ink blocks and tell me what you see. So he shows me the one I said, 